Gibraltar, now at 3 o'clock, and the match between Switzerland and Malta, who have already, both teams have already qualified for the next qualification fast, thanks to their two victories on Wednesday and Thursday. The game will be at 6 o'clock tonight. This match is therefore Ladies and gentlemen, to welcome the to Gumlingen. Next to Swiss capital Bern, just outside five kilometers. <laughs> We're getting ready for the matchup of tonight. It's an important one for the ranking, but for the ranking only, because both teams have missed their chance of participating in the Euros in the next round of qualification. Preliminary round proved to be the end for both teams of Gibraltar and Scotland. Either way, both teams battled pretty nicely. Especially Scotland took Malta and Switzerland, who are playing now for, them, for the first place in this group later on today. They took them very far. Into the last minutes. Well, today we're looking at a Gibraltar team with Mark Peter Moxon. James Castle, Stefan Ramirez, Nicolas Mark Castle, Ethan Perez, Carl Poggio, Naufal El Andalusi, the captain, Tyson Ruiz, JP Taluga, Ashley Rodriguez, Paul Gomez, Sean Pereira, Lee Mipson, and Ellen Parker. We will start with Mipson, Nick Castle, El Andalusi, Ruiz, and Ashley Rodriguez. On the other hand, Scotland will be playing tonight in White, they're playing with Benjamin O'Hanlon, Kyle Ballingall, the captain, Ross Cameron, Mark Chisel, James Grant, Caleb Holmes, Oscar, Luc Oscar Lucas, Kyle Lawless, Gavin Ritchie, Scott Smith, Connor McLaren, Robert Black, Adam Fairweather, and Christopher Enders. Scotland will start its game with Benjamin O'Hanlon in goal, Kyle Ballingall, Gavin Ritchie, Scott and Adam Fairweather. So, let's get rid of those graphics because we're having both teams coming in. Scotland playing for the last time in this tournament the preliminary round for the UEFA Futsal Euro 2026 they will miss the main round of qualification which means they will not be taking part in the Euros 2026 however they told us great Futsal along those three days they've been here in Switzerland we congratulate them and, of course, we expect an amazing game. Now let's present all the players. Players with number one, Peter Mark Moxa. Number three, Stefan Ramirez. Four, Mark Nicholas Castro. Five, Italy Perez. Six, Carl Poncho. Seven, Norfolk. The team of Scotland is playing with number one, Benjamin O'Hanlon, two, Kyle Pagnon, three, Ross Cameron, four, Mark Chisholm, five, James Crump, six, Caleb Holmes, seven, Oscar Lucas, nine, Gavin Ritchie, ten, Scott Smith, eleven, Conor McLaren, twelve, Daniel Matkovic. Daniel Matkovic. Daniel Matkovic. 
Gabor Kovac, Telman Undrak, and Maria Mislavska. Timekeeper today, as always, Daniel Matkovic, Swiss referee. Well, now we get to the national anthem. Gibraltar is first off. And now let's carry on with the flower of Scotland. That's the flower of Scotland. And we're now all set with the national anthems. Bellingham and Al Andalusi have already exchanged their uh, promotional material that they always carry with each other. I don't know what those things are called in English. I should find that out. In German, they're called Wimpel. Have 
Rafael Bellingham is now, now Valel Andalusi. Scotland with a lovely detail in their shorts. Then Andrews Cross, I think it's called. Lucy Tyson Ruiz and Ashley Rodriguez. Scotland playing in white and blue tonight with Benjamin O'Hanlon, Kyle Ballingall, Gavin Ritchie, Scott Smith and Adam Fairweather. First strike by Rodriguez, no problem for Ritchie. He throws himself at that ball. 1946, above both team names you will find the number of fouls they have committed so far. Ruiz catches the ball very well and throws it on the outside of his foot. No problem for O'Hanlon though. Two on two action. Ruiz tries it, but O'Hanlon with the splits would have been near. Gibraltar with the high press looking to win those balls. Balingo swipes it away. Balingo looking for Smith. Scott Smith. Richie. Richie tries it from the distance but finds no connection to the goal where the young Lee Mipsud is starting his second game. <coughs> 18 year old Mipsud taking over from 40 year old Mark Moxham. Between the post of Gibraltar. Scotland have a lot of things in common. Both wanted to secede from the British. Both have nice, cli nice clips to linger on and look into the distance. Gavin, Gavin in a slot, well defended by Naufal and Andalusia. That was Tyson Ruiz, sorry. Lovely first two and a half minutes here. 
Baba Bellingo just over hit. Let's look at the chance again. Hmm. Somehow didn't register, okay. Be sure to investigate further. Nick Castle tries to score out of the distance after Ruiz let the ball roll for him from the kick in. No problem for O'Hanlon. And referee Mislovska. Disallowing that one anyway. Bellingham. Richie. The man from Dundee United. And El Andalusi finding his master for now in Benjamin O'Hanlon. Very far out of his post, O'Hanlon. Still getting the ball. Nick Castle, no power behind this strike. Couldn't keep the ball in play. Caleb Holmes, the man who scored against Switzerland two nights ago. Big mistake by Swiss professional futsal player Gabriel Boxen though, leading up to that goal. Scots, however, still think that they deserve more out of that game. Don't blame them. Saturday afternoon. Not too many people watching so far. Well defended by O'Hanlon. Well defended by Oscar Lucas as well. Adjusting the clock, 16.03 to go in this first half. Ashley Rodriguez. Oh, good strike by Nick Castle. Even though it went wide of the goal. McLaren looking for his first play time. So is James Grant. Misunderstanding between the two of them. Down to McLaren. Warm Saturday afternoon here in Switzerland. Almost 24 degrees. Gibraltar. 
Alan Parker scores it after JP Taluga takes it on the right wing. Slides it over to Stefan Ramirez, who hits the post. But Alan Parker was there to pick up the scraps, making it 1-0 for Gibraltar. Well, our experience tells us that Scotland is a second half team. So we'll see what happens. They've scored twice in the second half. Once through Kyle Lawless, once through Caleb Holmes. McLaren. Well played, Grant tries it. On the outside of his foot, but Ramirez. Goes in between them. Now playing with Holmes. Puts it way too high. Above Mipsit's goal. That's Perez, Pitaluga, Ramirez finds Parker. Well played by Oscar Lucas. Lovely through ball now from Oscar Lucas. However, Holmes wasn't up for it. Let's go. Alan Parker. Perez, Ramirez, Pitaluga. Oh, well done by Lucas Holness. Couldn't quite catch it. As we just readjust the clock, it's running away from us. Fifty to go. Perez couldn't find his man. <coughs> well, in Scotland, if you're in your favourite pub with breakfast license, maybe tell them to switch on the game so that everyone can watch. Lucas. Grant back to Lucas. Holmes looking for Grant. Oh, lifts it. Had his hands far up. Lifts it. But referee Mitslovska was very near to that play. And would have seen if Mipsus had caused Grant to fall. Grant did fall, this is clear. Question is, was it caused by Mipsus or not? James Grant, Lucas, Oscar Lucas <coughs> finds Caleb Holmes. 
And that's McLaren. Oh, well played by McLaren. Almost couldn't keep it. Alan Parker. Also unhappy with what happens. Almost a quarter of this game over. 11.25 to go. Lee Mipson picking up the ball. Both teams very equal. Letting the ball run. This is nice. The pitching quality between Gibraltar and Switzerland and Gibraltar and uh, Malta in the past few days made it sometimes a little bit tiresome with a lot of breaks, a lot of balls going out of play. The games with Scotland were a little different, but also there a lot of physicality, a lot of fouls. Today we're seeing a little more of an open play, but still you can make out why both these teams aren't in the next round of qualification. Corner kick with Scott Smith. Richie only finds Mixer. Ramirez. Well played. Good intentions. But you know, as they say, the path to losing is paved on good intentions. That's me paraphrasing it. Ashley Rodriguez, Nick Castle. to see James Castle, the towering presence. Oh, he's not in the game sheet, it looks. James Castle must have injured himself. And on the Scottish side, not in the game sheet, is Kai Lawless. Another one of the people we're missing tonight. Especially Lawless would do the Scottish game very good. Angus! Tries to have a go, but first let's look at this lovely ball. Ballingo was very well spotted for Nick Castle. Goes in between. Angus again. Castle. Showing all his defensive prowess. Nine thirty-three to go. Nick Castle stopped Kyle Bellingo from making it equal, and then Christoph Rangers had a go at it, but Lee Mipson denied that one as well. Kyle Bellingo with the kick in. The Scottish captain. Ballingo having at it. The Mitchell. Baseball. Very well done by Richie. Ballingo, what was that? Leadership and team play is very important, Kyle Ballingo. But in these situations, you should score. You should aim for the target. What was that? Ballingo should have tried to put it under. Instead, he looks for Angus. Kyle Ballingo. Now, this one is just on him. It was clear intention pass. Not even Angus was waiting for it. 
And we have our first foul of the game. Gibraltar committed the first foul of the game. Scott Smith stopped by the other number 10 by Ashley Rodriguez. Kovac telling Bellingham that he doesn't want any more of that, whatever it was. Smith. Now the pressure by the Scotsman is getting stronger and stronger. Very well done. Ballingo. Angus. Mipsut. Lee Mipsut. Clearing this one by Angus. got in the way of our camera. Oh, very well done. Also this strike by Mr. Richie Gavin. Gavin Richie. But Mipsud stands his ground. It overhits this time. And we're getting our first time out. Malta, uh, Gibraltar. We'll try to reconvene. They have noticed the pressure is on. found the right words for his men and what James Gordon McKilbray was able to induce in his men. Kyle Ole is not playing, will be surely a miss for Scotland. He was their flying goalkeeper, he was <coughs> The one given most of the instructions on Thursday. We'll see where he will have his Alan Parker looking for no foul in Andalusi. Now it's three on one, but Caleb hold on. There's no excuse, this is no glacier, there's no excuse to slip in Switzerland in this time of year, Caleb Holness just couldn't stay on his feet and miss the great chance. Grant, very well played by James Grant, but again, this is the style of play that Scotland isn't too used to. I wouldn't be even surprised if Scott uh, McLaren didn't even know that that could be a case. A ball coming to the second post like that. 
42 to go, only one foul so far, but Gibraltar also only one goal. Alan Parker was the man who scored. McLaren, Holness, well played. Finds his man, McLaren, Oscar, a thump. The crossbar just above it. Nothing happening here. Tyson Ruiz containing the ball, but Oscar Lucas has gotten it back from him. Connor McLaren. The Scottish don't even know what to do with all that possession. No authorized paths. Oscar Lucas wants a foul whistle. Miss Love Scott tells him. To cool down. Well played. Very well done. Oh, hold us. Misunderstanding with Rant. No, with McLaren. No, it wasn't Grant, sorry. 5.20 to go in this first half. Scotland trying to get back into the game, but they lack some creativity. And that is the problem. If you lack some creativity, if you lack some playmaking, you will not find too much space. Tyson Ruiz! Makes it to zero! And that's what I was all about. Tyson Ruiz! Fights for the ball, takes it from Holmes, and then easy tickets for him. Getting it just out of reach of O'Hanlon to make it 2-0. to go, Scotland need two goals. <coughs> the Scots, before the game, were complaining as they think they should have had a 
better result from the game against Switzerland. You can somehow see what they mean. However, they never made it made more than one goal that was basically a gift to them from the Swiss players. But yeah, given the other results, we would have guessed that Scotland would fare better tonight. But so far, they have been a little harmless. Clueless at times. Bellingham looking for Angus. Richie. Richie, the man from Dundee. Richie takes it to his right foot, picks up. Clears it. looking for a handball, doesn't get it. Well played, and Nixon is at it again. Rodriguez wants to explain his crafts to the referee. I guess that's kind of a futile point. Kovac is well aware of what he's doing. Second foul by Gibraltar. Fouls have not played a role so far in this half. Kyle Valigo had a great chance to make it even. <coughs> Chose to play the pass and missed an open goal. against Gibraltar, 2.38 to go. Kyle Ballingon set the ball, Angus and Lucas looking for it, Lucas gets it, Ballingon, that just takes too long, <coughs> again. Creativity and faster execution needed if they want to make one of those plays succeed. Sean Pereira defending well, the youngster, 17 years of age. The man with the number 12. Angus. Angus! That one was overhit. and Bellingham. 120 seconds to go. Yeah. 116 now. With Ashley Rodriguez. His team being happy. The way it stands at the moment. Angus. Tries to capitalize out of 
Lucas gets on the ball. And he gets a yellow card for throwing himself on the ground. Kuzlowska didn't like diving. to see Ross Cameron, Mark Chisel. Uh, other than Lawless, they are both on the match sheet. Maybe we'll see them. Ashley Rodriguez clearing the way for his goalkeeper. to go. Bellingo tries it. Rodriguez is in his way. Ramirez wanted to take on two Scotsmen. Didn't quite achieve it. Stefan Ramirez either way got his kick in. 75 seconds to go in his first half. Nick Castle that ball is up. Scott Smith, and now they tried the counter, Gibraltar, but honestly they must be happy with this result. So you won't see them taking on too much risk for the moment, at least until we have a break. Lucas, this is actually a very good chance for Scotland to find other leaders if Kyle Lawless isn't playing. Someone can step up, take on the role of main man. Tyson Ruiz, O'Hanlon goes in between them. And now Rodriguez O'Hanlon is again O'Hanlon. The Benjamin O'Hanlon show. Scotland has their goalkeeper to thank for still being in the game. Sixteen seconds to go. Tyson Ruiz, will he mount the last attack? I guess they will let the time run down. Nick Castle, Ruiz, seven to go. Ashley Rodriguez, Castle, Ruiz, and we're off to the break. Zero time, Ruiz, two zero. And it's only 2-0 because O'Hanlon put on his savior's hat. One, two. Hans well Hans done by Hans Benjamin O'Hanlon. Here we see it again. Gibraltar leads 2-0. Thanks to goals by Tyson Ruiz and Alan Parker. We'll be back in about 10 minutes for you again with sound and we'll show you the second half. Stay tuned.
second half on the way here between Scotland and Gibraltar. Gibraltar taking the lead with two goals. One by Alan Parker, one by Tyson Ruiz. Scotland has not found too many arguments to make this game level. Scotland missing their playmaker Kai Lawless tonight. Gibraltar is playing without James Castle, the towering defender. Ruiz committing the first foul of the game of the second half. Scotland are yet to foul in this game. However, they're also yet to score. Gibraltar had three fouls in the first half. Scotland had a diving yellow for Christopher Angus. Scottish staff seeing yellow. Smith, Richie Smith. Let's Ruiz run him out of play, but gets the kick at uh, the corner. Scott Smith, Bellingo. Wow. Again, misunderstanding, lack of communication between the Scotsmen. We've seen it time and time again, this game. Their unity, their ability to be close to each other was actually one of their strengths in their matchups against Switzerland and uh, against Malta. But tonight, it doesn't look too good. Castle hammering it away. Richie looking for the far post of Lipson's goal. Gavin Richie trying to put that one in. Good attempt. to be played in this second half. Scotland trying to take some more initiative. Richie Ruiz unburdens him of the ball, but now foul. El Andalusi can't give this play continuation. to go. Al-Andalusi, Dutch run down. Oh, 
Well, the game against Malta and also against Switzerland took its toll, of course, on the Scottish team. in a problem for your team. Scotland going from favourites before the kickoff to the ones clearly set not to leave Switzerland with points. And that's the difference on this level, ladies and gentlemen. You can think that you deserve more against Switzerland and Malta all day, but you can't perform if you can't deliver against the so-called weakest opponent. That's what then weighs heavy on you in the ranking. Grant being stopped. obvious one at it as well. Parker can throw his hands up in the air as much as he wants. The man who scored the first goal of tonight. Just with a clear foul. Well a free kick for Scotland now. Maybe a set piece will unlock their power. Scott Smith. No, McLaren. McLaren to Lucas. Back to McLaren. And Peter Luger shows him his number. Time for Scotland to catch up. If they would need to take charge of this game now. JP Taluga. Oscar takes it from. Him. That was a strike. 
the far off O'Hanlon's goal. Warming up, it really looked as if Robert Flack was getting some minutes. So far, O'Hanlon's been guarding the goal on his own. Robert Flack, actually the only goalkeeper in this tournament. The only one of eight goalkeepers who hasn't seen some action yet. Moxa, Mifsud, Charrie, Aranya, and also both Maltese goalkeepers. Mermera and Mipsud have already played. For Scotland, we've only seen O'Hanlon applying his clutch so far. That was a good strike. Connor McLaren takes aim, sees a small opening, but only catches the outside of the net. Fourteen forty to go. Scotland applying some pressure. No success thus far, though. McLaren, James Grant, Lucas, Holness, very well played but also very well defended by Ethan Perez, just putting his body in between the player and the ball, not allowing Holness to take on speed. Timeout for Scotland. Let's see what James Gordon McGillbray has to tell his men. He's on the UEFA Proof playlist. 14 of 3 to go. Scotland need 3 goals if they don't want to make it out of this tournament as last. And looking to maybe even lose some places in the ranking. I remind you that all the four player teams involved have a lower ranking and that's why they had to play this preliminary round of qualification. These teams are amongst the 12 lowest ranked teams in Europe out of 48 I think, or 49. So winning here would be interesting and important. Holness is playing flying goalkeeper. Attacking goalkeeper Caleb Holness. Since Kai Lawless is missing tonight. O'Hanlon comes back to gather that ball. Will then run out of play. If Lucas doesn't lose the ball, of course. Bellingo looking for McLaren. Couldn't find him. 
Scotland tried to play with an attacking goalkeeper very early as well against Switzerland. But then the Swiss managed through clever pressing to stall that for a, about four minutes. But they did actually very well with the man more, with the man advantage. Let's see if Holmes can do it as well as Lawless did. Remind you, Lawless scored against Malta. Holmes scored against Switzerland. None of them are flying goalkeepers though. Oh well, Brule! Scott Smith looking to put it in the net. Did we get a, a corner? Twelve forty to go. Oh, that was a good one. But again, Smith not finding the net. The little chances Scotland gets, they don't capitalize on. That's another one of these problems. O'Hanlon puts the ball into play. Malta unhappy with something. Shouldn't be letting this game become one of those complaint fests. But again, that is this way you can see what it means to these players. Nick Castle strikes it past the goal. <coughs> Castle very well defended. Ramirez, Ramirez, the Bellingham cuts him off. 12 for 6. Ramirez taking his time. But the clock doesn't run down if Ramirez takes his time once. Play is interrupted. And Gibraltar now just wants the clock to run down. Tyson Ruiz, Nick Castle. Oh, well played by Castle. El Andalusi. Ball was out. 12 minutes to go until the end of the game. Holmes is underway again with his yellow shirt, playing goalkeeper, flying goalkeeper. Bellingo. But it doesn't look too coordinated. They do what they're expected to do, run the ball play some passes, but never do we see those runs into the danger zones. Who's the top gun of Scotland? Who will find that decides as well? Caleb Olsen. And Ruiz blocks it together with Gomez, but then they got on to get a shot off. <laughs> 11 minutes to go. Ball is with Scotland, with Lucas. Oscar Lucas. Scott Smith, again, Oscar Lufus. Very well box defending by Gibraltar. Moving nicely along. Nick 
Carrasco, Ashley Rodriguez, Ethan Perez. Perez looking for Rodriguez, but that one was just a little too strong. 10 minutes and 15 seconds to go in this match. Scotland are slowly running out of time. Lucas. Lucas. Belling go back to Lucas. They just don't know what to do. Holness would be free on a second post. They don't see him. And Ruiz just strikes it forward. against five. McLaren. Oscar. Lucas. Oscar Lucas. Cardo McLaren. Back to Lucas. McLaren. Just passing it around. Now there was a good pass to Nick Castle. Intercepts it easily. It's the fundamentals that they're lacking. The same thing that Ron Pinto told us yesterday after the game, uh, two days ago. Portuguese national coach, uh, Portuguese man, national coach of Switzerland. That's the right way around. Ron Pinto, the national coach of Switzerland, he told us, well, Scotland is very physical. They are very engaged, but they lack the fundamentals, and that's what we are seeing today. Actually, harsher than the two days against Malta and Switzerland. Even Gibraltar is taking them for a ride. Scott Smith with Nick Castle takes it gladly on. Makes it 1 3. But then some fighting going on. Kovac had to take care of it. 8.24 to go. Might Scotland be coming back? Oh, Hanman will be heading out soon. Waits. Smith, Lucas, back to Smith, Bellingham, Holness, in between the Maltese, that looks like synchronized dancing, looks very nice but it's not very uh, eventful, Holness in pace with 
He bolts out in defense and then lifts it looking for an empty netter, but he doesn't strike it. Oh. Ashley Rodriguez not agreeing with the foul whistle. The referee gives the foul away nonetheless. 7.29. Scotland are two goals off of getting back into this game, getting the third place in this tournament because they have the better goal difference. But they need the two goals. Again, misunderstanding between Honas and O'Hanlon. And those are those little things that pile up that end up costing you. They are costing Scotland at the moment. 1720, Smith. Ramirez. Rodriguez. Perez. Nick Castle. Ramirez. Perez. Ethan Perez. They know as long as they keep the ball in the opponent's half, they can't take out the goalkeeper. Oh, Helen. Taking matters into his own hands. Runs out and clears that ball. 6.54. Just outside of play, we can see the Gibraltarian coaches telling the players to let the ball run. Lucas intercepts that ball and then just hammers it away. 6.44 to go. Well played. Ramirez takes aim. Oscar Lucas clears it. Six thirty-four. Not much time left, but the game becoming a little dragging. Well played, Rodriguez. Oh, there he is, Ramirez on his own, but he waits and lets. The Scots get in his way. Ramirez ends up hitting O'Hanlon in the head. O'Hanlon is standing again. Nothing happens. Six eighteen to go. Balingo with the ball. Kyle Bellingo. Back to Bellingo. Very well played, Mikey Rosen. 5.59 to go. The man advantage hasn't proven too useful so far for Scotland. Another attempt with Bellingo. McLaren. Smith. Gets his foul. And that's the fourth one. So fouls could still become an issue. And if Scotland can draw one or two fouls, they're back in the game, maybe. Let's not forget, after the fifth team foul in a half, every additional foul will be punished with a free kick out of 10 meters, no wall. So Scotland could be looking at making another goal and then 
trying to capitalize on those fouls. Lucas. Smith. Lucas. Ah, that was nuts. Rigorous enough. Too many wrong balls. Not enough clean play. If you miss your man with balls like that, it won't end up being the game. This one was a little hard. However, no reason to exaggerate. Scott Smith got hit in the head. They were playing it a little rough, that's true. But no need to lose their heads about it. Ruiz gets his yellow card, as he deserves. Five oh eight to go. Smith doesn't look too good. Needs help getting off the pitch. Red card for a Gibraltar staff member. Oh, both coaches. Both coaches have been thrown out of the game. Kovac has had enough. I will not mark that in the um, in the game clock as it's the coaches who are sent off. So I guess there's no under no no time uh, penalty. Five oh eight. Everyone is well off again. Now that both coaches have left. One, two, three, four, five Scotsmen. Attacking again with Holness wearing his goalkeeper jersey, but being far away from goal. Alan Parker was looking for his second of the night, but he missed it. James Grant. Someone in the chat was asking for him. Now here he is, James Grant. Let's see what he can produce. Grant playing with McLaren. Back to Grant. And those runs, we need those runs. Holness should be trying to slip away at some point. Open up room for his colleagues or whatever other tactical marvels 
the Scottish have in mind. Bellingo looking for Angus. Angus keeps the ball. They're looking for a penalty, which they are not getting. 348. Bellingo. Oh, that was a fun one. Parker gets thrown to the ground and intercepts the run by Bellingo. Well done, Bellingo. 340. Scotland has just about time, but maybe. No, McLaren clears it. Rodriguez is looking for the empty net. Again, Rodriguez is looking for the empty net. Bellingo, Grant. Now there's a little space. Bellingo. Well done. This is a chance. Oh, no. In the first half, Bellingo misses the big one. This would have been it. Bellingo had an empty net, but he just puts it wide of the right post. Ah, oh, Scotland in agony for Kyle Bellingo. Miss you. We have. And 11 to go. Timeout was taken by Gibraltar, but both coaches have been sent off with red cards. So now, let's see if the assistants can give good orders. Lee Mipsert. Gets a little ahead of himself, the young goalkeeper. Mipsa. The one is out of play. 307, put Benjamin O'Hanlon looking to leave the pitch as soon as he can. Hold us coming on. Bellingo. Well played, Oscar! Very well done! And now that's it! That's it, that's it! Gibraltar makes it 4 1. Tyson Ruiz! Hat trick by Tyson Ruiz! Celebration by Rodriguez, but it's Tyson Ruiz. Ruiz makes it for one. After Lucas was close to making it 2-3. Lucas again. Ross Cameron. This is now the first minute played by Ross Cameron in this match. One hundred and forty-six seconds remaining. Gibraltar will be ecstatic. They can climb one or two places in the ranking. They'll finish this tournament as third. And Scotland with a disappointment. Before the game, the Scottish team was proclaiming that they would walk 500 miles and maybe they would walk 500 more. But they are not the proclaimers, they are. The Scottish team, there are no Benny and June in this team. Anyway, 
Very well played by Perez. Well, the Scottish were proclaiming that they had deserved more out of those games against Malta and Switzerland. And looking at the flow of those games, they might actually be right. But tonight, this afternoon here in Bern, capital of Switzerland, they did not prove that they were the better team. Lack of creativity, a few mistakes on their part, but Gibraltar played it very nicely. Angus on the ground, one to the penalty. Angus has already seen a yellow today for diving. So maybe he should not exaggerate. 107 seconds. Keep us away from the decision in this game. Mislovska explaining to Angus that there's no need for anger. You, that a victory in this game would have been important to climb the rankings. All four teams included in this preliminary round, all 12 teams, are the least ranked teams in Europe. That's why they need to play this preliminary round. Switzerland and Scotland looking to get some points with the two uh, victories they had already in this tournament. We're looking to put one more behind them and then could in the main round not only qualify for the Euros but also get away from that preliminary round for next time. The Euros that used to be every two years with 12 teams, now they switch to a four-year model with 16 teams. So there's four more spots this time around but also longer wait times, especially for Scotland and Gibraltar, who are now out of it. But Gibraltar will have this victory to celebrate if Scotland don't achieve three goals in the remaining 68 seconds. This is the first Mark Chisholm Seeing some playing time. The man with the number four, now on your screens. Had not been used tonight, so far. 57 seconds to go. Gibraltar looking for their first victory. Thanks to a hat-trick by Tyson Ruiz and the opening goal by Alan Parker. It was Conor McLaren with a lovely header that gave Scotland some hope. And poor captain Kyle Ballingo missed two big chances to level the games. Ballingo now with the ball. Chisel, Bellingo, Angus trying to turn, but well defended by Gibraltar. 29 seconds remaining. Gibraltar looking to climb the rankings, becoming third in this group. And the Scottish. They will walk 500 miles and they will walk 500 more just to be in the main round but all the walking has gotten them nowhere tonight they'll have to go back to Scotland with zero points 
after losing 4-1 against Malta, after losing 3-1 against Switzerland, and again after proclaiming that they were unlucky in both games, might very well be. Missing Kyle Lawless tonight surely wasn't as easy as well, but in the end, they only have themselves to blame. They should have enough quality to take on Gibraltar. Gibraltar that played a very nice game. Aiming to defend more than they attack. Now the game is getting a little out of hand. Why? There's no need, gentlemen. The game is already over. 17 seconds to go. The way Scotland are playing, they will not score three goals in 17 seconds. Red card for Ethan Perez, well deserved. And also, Angus will be thrown out of the game. So we have two red cards. Indicated here. So we'll see three on three action for the remaining 17 seconds. Ethan Perez and Christopher Angus thrown out of the game, just like their coaches before. Kovac doing a good job tonight. Lucas Pugliksen is on it. Thirteen seconds to go. Oscar Chisholm, very well defended by Nick Castle. Eight seconds to go. Chisholm looking for Lucas. Lucas looking for a strike. Lucas, back to Chisholm. Lucas, Mifsud is in between and it's over! Some three on three action for the last 17 seconds. Couldn't tarnish this game. Gibraltar wins it 4 1 after Alan Parker made it 1 0. Alan Parker made it 1 0. Tyson Ruiz made it 2 0, 3 0. Then we saw some hope to cover McLaren scoring for the 3 1. Bellingham misses an early important chance and Ruiz scores an empty netter. Hattrick for Tyson Ruiz. Gibraltar will finish this tournament in third place. Scotland will finish this tournament last and will have to go again through the preliminary round for the next qualification. Same goes for Gibraltar. We'll take a short break. We'll be back in just over an hour with the matchup, the last one of this group, Switzerland against Malta. Be sure to be here and enjoy it. If you like futsal, be sure to subscribe to our channel because we will be showing you the playoffs in the Swiss Futsal Premier League throughout the whole month of May. So stay tuned so you can see which games we will broadcast for you. Thank you to everyone in Scotland and Gibraltar who took this journey with us in the past three days. It was fun. Gibraltar wins the goals from Alan Parker and the hat-trick from Tyson Ruiz. Connor McLaren had scored with a beautiful header to make it 3-1, but it wasn't enough. Have a great evening and see you in an hour for the game Switzerland against Malta.